Welcome to the Guy's Guide. I'm Chef Robert Farron. Today I'm going to teach you how to fake it like a pro. Guys, we're going to get started with our Guy's Guide breakfast in bed. This is basically crepes with a banana blackberry gras manier sauce. Um, it's absolutely fantastic first thing in the morning. She's going to love it and uh, it's going to make you look like a god in the kitchen. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our crepe batter. Um, basically, what we're using here, guys, um, is Bisquick. And this is a pre-packaged flour uh, mixture that you can buy at any store. Right now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to follow the directions directly on the back of the box, only we're going to add an extra half a cup of uh, milk to this. So instead of one cup, we're actually going to be doing a cup and a half of milk. It's going to thin down the batter, and it's going to make it perfect for our crepes today. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started with two cups of our Bisquick, uh, and we're going to take a big bowl. Guys, don't try and do this in, in a cereal bowl. Uh, don't try and do it in a small bowl. Get a big bowl. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take all the work out of it for you. Okay, we have two cups of Bisquick. We're going to go ahead and add that into our bowl, just like that. Uh, we're going to take two regular eggs, all right, just broken eggs directly into our flour mixture, uh, and we're going to take a cup and a half of milk. What we're going to do is we're going to slowly incorporate this milk in with the eggs. And remember, when you're whisking, use your wrist more than your arm. It's just a quick wrist motion like this. We're going to go around the sides of the bowl, uh, and just kind of get it fully incorporated. We want to get all those lumps out of there. Uh, and now the secret ingredient to this uh, is a little bit of vanilla extract. So what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to add uh, approximately one tablespoon. So we're going to go ahead and mix that in. This is a great recipe simply because it takes uh, almost no effort to make. Uh, we actually have some crepe batter that I did make the night before right over here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and make a crepe. And uh, it's important that when you're doing this that you actually have some sort of a Teflon coated pan or a crepe pan. Uh, this crepe pan was about $20. I got it from Williams Sonoma. And remember, guys, it's always important to let your pan come up to temp before you start to add ingredients into the pan. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this guy come up to temp. Uh, and we're going to take a little bit of Pam butter cooking spray. It's a perfect grab and go item. It's going to make your life much easier. Uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and take a little bit of the Pam butter spray. We're going to spray right onto our pan just like that. Don't worry if it flames up. Just a little bit of showmanship for you. And we're going to take some of our crepe mixture uh, that I made last night and just put right in the bottom of the pan there. And as you can see, we're just kind of swirling it around to the edges uh, so that we have that nice thin crepe. Okay. Now what you're going to notice here is if you take a look uh, right down along the edges of this crepe, they're starting to have these bubbles come up and kind of burst. That's good. You want bubbles in your crepe. It's letting the oxygen from the bottom of that pan release and actually cook your crepe. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a heat-tempered spatula, guys. Basically, this means as soon as this touches this hot pan, it's not going to burn. We're just going to go right around the sides like that. Uh, now, what I want you to take a look at, guys, is, is how these bubbles are kind of rising to the top and then exploding. That's good. You want bubbles in your crepe. It's letting the oxygen from the bottom of that pan release and actually cook your crepe. Once the majority of those have all come up and just kind of exploded, you're ready to go ahead and flip it over. Go ahead and spray the bottom of a regular plate with some, uh, with some of the pan cooking spray and flip it over just like that. It's that simple. Spray your pan one more time with a little bit more pan butter spray and I'm taking the tips of my fingers like this and releasing it back down to the bottom of the pan. We're going to let it cook for about 10 or 20 seconds and it's done. Now we have a plain plate right here, and what we're going to do is just basically fold it over in half like this, and then one more time in half, and you have this beautiful triangle-shaped crepe. We get two or three of these on the plate going, and it is that easy. We're going to go ahead and pop this in the oven, 250 degrees, and just keep it warm. All right, now guys, for this sauce, it's really, really simple. All we need is a little bit of butter, a little bit of brown sugar, some fresh berries, and bananas. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this same crepe pan, that we made our crepes in, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it on high heat. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, butter to our preheated uh, pan. And uh, guys, don't worry about measuring out the butter. I've just gone ahead and cut this up into slivers. We're going to take one cup of packed light brown sugar, okay, and give it a quick swirl like that, okay? Don't worry if it flames up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and start to mix it in with our heat-tempered spatula. So we're going to go ahead and go around the sides of the pan and just incorporate the butter and the sugar. I'm actually going to add two more pads of butter. And the reason I'm adding this butter is you can see some of this brown sugar is actually not incorporated fully with the butter. We want to make sure there's enough butter in there so that we're actually making our own syrup. So what we're going to do is we are going to take some fresh blackberries. And guys, what woman doesn't love fresh fruit? Uh, every woman I know loves pancakes. We're going to combine both of these. Uh, and you know what? Just go ahead and toss a few in there. And what we're going to do now, guys, is we are actually going to uh, 
flambe this. If she's, uh, if she's cracked an eyelid at this point, go ahead and invite her into the kitchen because uh, it's going to be a great opportunity for you to show off a little bit at the stove. But what we're going to do, we're just going to add a little bit of gramigné and let it burn off like that. Again, guys, this is a fantastic opportunity for you to show off in the kitchen. Okay, let the alcohol totally burn off. What we're going to do is add our bananas. And again, we're not going to measure it out. We're just going to go ahead and add as much as you like or she likes. And we're going to give it a quick stir in the middle of the pan. What we're doing is we're incorporating the berries and the bananas. And as you can tell, the alcohol is still burning off. Our sauce is just about done here. We're going to take our plastic heat-tempered spatula. Go ahead and just incorporate the blackberries and the bananas. What you're going to notice is that the sugar from the blackberries is actually going to start to cook down and give you a nice thick syrup. All right, guys, we've been letting our sauce cook for about three or five minutes. It's fully incorporated, and it's ready to be tossed on top of our crepes. All right, we're going to go over to our oven that we've actually preheated to 250 degrees. It's acted as a warming container for our crepes while we've been busy making our sauce. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pull this out of the oven. Oh, and look at that beautiful, crisp, golden brown, ready to be topped with a little bit of our banana blackberry grand marnier sauce. All right, we're going to go right over the top of this, guys, with our banana blackberry grand marnier sauce. Doesn't that look good? Remember, presentation is actually 90% of uh, your entire cooking process, so it's important that you have a fairly good-looking plate. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and top it off with a little bit of powdered sugar right over the top. And, guys, it is that simple. We have our homemade crepes with banana blackberry grand marnier sauce. I'm Robert Ferry. Thanks for visiting the Guys Guide. Congratulations. You've just learned how to fake it like a pro.